Dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, friends and visitors, good afternoon. Thank you for joining uh, us this afternoon to celebrate Christmas, celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. But there are people who live in winter are feeling miserable. Some of them would even fly to warm places like Singapore to escape the winter. Like is miserable in winter. Because of the lack of sunlight and it is dark and cold. Living in darkness is problematic. Uh, let me uh, share with you uh, my experience of jogging in the early morning uh, before sunrise. It was dark and uh, I can't see quite clearly. I can't see the contour and the colors of the trees and the flowers around me. Sometimes the shadow of the trees looks like ghosts, very scary. As I jog in the dark, I always worry that I may step on something unpleasant. For example, a, a, a pothole, animal droppings, or even a snake are lying on the jogging path. Jogging in the dark is worrisome. But when the sun rises, I can see the path clearly. I can, I can see the beautiful trees and flowers around me. And I really appreciate the bright and warm sunlight. The feeling is really wonderful. When the sunlight comes in, the darkness is gone and fear is gone. And the, and the tremendous sense of freedom lifted my spirit. My morning job becomes a whole new experience. Just like the story of Christmas. Christmas is a life-changing event. Changing from dark and cold to bright and warm. Changing from fear to faith and freedom. Christmas Christmas is not about Christmas tree, it's not about gifts, it's not about turkey. Christmas is not just about a star, wise man, shepherds, and baby in the manger. Christmas is about God. Giving the world a new beginning. A new life in Jesus Christ so that we can live forever. So this is the story of Christmas according to the Apostle John who wrote the Gospel. In the scripture passage read to us just now, Apostle John tells us Three things about Christmas. The beginning of life. 
新生命的开始。A new beginning for life. 新生命的开始。And the purpose of this new beginning. 而且我们这新开始的这个目的。Apostle John did not tell us the Christmas story from the baby in the manger. 使徒约翰没有从马槽里的婴孩这这一点来开始圣诞的故事。He tells us the Christmas story from the beginning, the creation of the world, the creation of all things, the creations of all lives. 他是从这世界的被造，万物的被造，所有生命之物的被造那里开始。Why? 为什么呢 ？Apostle John wants us to know who was Jesus before he came to this world. 约翰要我们知道，耶稣在世界还未造成之前。In verse one, Apostle John says, "In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God." 第一节就说到太初有道，道与神同在，道就是神。The Word refers to Jesus, the Son of God. 这道就是指着耶稣，神的儿子。Apostle John says Jesus was with God. That means Father and Son. Were together at the beginning when the world was created. 使徒约翰说，耶稣与神同在，那就是在世界造在创造之前，父与神就已经在一起了。And Jesus was God. That means Jesus is equal with God. That means both of them have the same character and power. 耶稣就是神，指着。耶稣与神同等，有同样的属性和能力。Apostle John tells us that God created the universe through His Son Jesus. 约翰告诉我们，神透过他的爱子耶稣创造了宇宙。Which means without Jesus, listen carefully. Which means without Jesus, nothing can be created. 那等于没有耶稣就没有被造物。In other words, without Jesus, you and I. Won't be here. Nothing existed. 换句话说，如果没有耶稣，你我都不存在。In verse four, Apostle John says that life was in Jesus, and light came from this life, which means Jesus is the light and life in heaven. 第四节说到，生命就在耶稣里，光也光也从这生命而来。这是指耶稣就是天上的光和生命。Before the creations, it was total darkness. 在创造之前，全是黑暗。But when the light of Jesus comes shining into the darkness, darkness cannot overcome the light, and lives appear out of darkness. 当耶稣的光照到这黑暗的世界的时候，黑暗不能胜过光，而生命就从黑暗而生。Just like when we shine the torchlight into a dark room, the darkness disappears, and the room is filled with light. 就如我们把这手电筒照入这个黑暗的房间一样，那黑暗就会被驱赶，那房间就会充满亮光。So all the things we see in this world, all the things that we see in the universe today, are created through Jesus Christ. 那我们今天在世上所看到的一切，在宇宙所看到的一切，都是透过耶稣而被创造的。So as we see the greatness of the creation, we actually seeing the greatness of Jesus. 当我们看到这创造的伟大的时候，我们其实也是看到耶稣的伟大。But why Jesus, the light and life, has to come to this world? 那是为什么耶稣这世界的光和生命要来到世上呢 ？It is. It's because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world is filled with darkness of sins. Because this world Grew in their hearts and passed down to their descendants. They disobeyed God, and the darkness of sins grew in their hearts and passed down to their descendants. They disobeyed God, and the darkness of sins grew in their hearts and passed down to their descendants. They disobeyed God, and the darkness of sins grew in their hearts and pass
罪的黑暗在他们的心里滋长，以致传到他们的后代。The Bible tells us that the punishment for sin is death. 圣经也告诉我们，罪的公价就是死。The disobedience of Adam and Eve brought death, the curse of sin, to mankind. 亚当夏娃的不顺从带来了死亡，那就是罪的诅咒，把这诅咒带到人间。When we live our lives our own way instead of God's way, we become a selfish person. When we want to live our own way instead of God's way, we become a selfish person. When we want to live our own way instead of God's way, we become a selfish person. When we want to live our own way instead of God's way, we become a selfish person. When we want to live our own way instead of God's way, we become a selfish person. When we want to live our own way instead of God's way, we become a selfish person. When we want to live our own way instead of God's way, we become a selfish person. When we want to live our own way instead of God's way, we become a selfish person. When we want to live our own way instead of God's way, we become a selfish person. When people offend us, we seek revenge. We show no mercy. When people offend us, we seek revenge. We show no mercy. When people offend us, we seek revenge. We show no mercy. Look around us today, and we will see clearly that the situation in the world is not good at all. When we look around us, we see clearly that the situation in the world is not good at all. When we look around us, we see clearly that the situation in the world is not good at all. In many parts of the world, human beings are fighting against one another. Even when the coronavirus is killing people and the world is suffering the worst weather. In the world, even when the coronavirus is killing people and the world is suffering the worst weather. In the world, even when the coronavirus is killing people and the world is suffering the worst weather. In the world, even when the coronavirus is killing people and the world is suffering the worst weather. In the world, even when the coronavirus is killing people and the world is suffering the worst weather. Hostile world, we can feel that life is really hopeless and miserable. We live in a hostile world. We feel that life is very hopeless and miserable. But thanks be to God for His love for us. But thanks be to God for His love for us. On the first Christmas, two thousand years ago, God sent His Son Jesus Christ into the world to defeat the darkness. In two thousand years ago, the first Christmas. To remove the curse of sin in this world and give us a new beginning, showing us His goodness. He removed the curse of sin from the world, giving us a new beginning, showing us His goodness. He removed the curse of sin from the world, giving us a new beginning, showing us His goodness. He removed the curse of sin from the world, giving us a new beginning, showing us His goodness. He removed the curse of sin from the world, giving us a new beginning, showing us His goodness. He removed the curse of sin from the world, giving us a new beginning. The apostle John tells us that John the Baptist, a prophet of God, was sent by God to testify that Jesus has come, has come to this world. John tells us that this is John, the prophet of God, who was sent by God to testify that Jesus has come. John the Baptist testified that Jesus has come to be a sacrificial lamb of God to take away the sins of the world. 施洗约翰见证耶稣基督是神所差来的牺牲的羔羊，为了要挪去我们的罪。That means Jesus will die to give the world a new life. 这就明说耶稣会为我们的罪而死，以致给我们新的生命。When he goes to the cross to take the punishment of death in our place, our sins are forgiven. 当耶稣上十字架为我们的罪承承担那个惩罚的时候。The punishment is removed, and we are reconciled to God. Our sin is removed, our punishment is removed, and we can be reconciled to God. In other words, we don't have to fear death when we believe in Jesus. That means that if we believe in Jesus, we don't have to fear death. This is the Christmas story the Apostle John is telling us. This is the Apostle John is telling us the Christmas story. Jesus is the new beginning. For all who believe in Him, Jesus is the new beginning for all who believe in Him. In the following verses, Apostle John tells us the two purposes of this Christmas story. In the following verses, Apostle John tells us the two purposes of this new beginning God is offering. In the following verses, Apostle John tells us the two purposes of this new beginning God is offering. In the following verses, Apostle John tells us the two purposes of this new beginning God is offering. In the following verses, Apostle John tells us the two purposes of this new beginning God is offering. In the following verses, Apostle John tells us the two purposes of this new beginning God is offering. In the following verses, Apostle John tells us the two purposes of this new beginning God is offering. In the following verses, Apostle John tells us the two purposes Of the coming of Jesus is to open the way for us to become God's children. That nine to thirteen verse tells us that Jesus came to earth to open the way for us to become God's children. Apostle John says in verses ten to eleven, "Jesus came to earth to open the way for us to become God's children." Apostle John says in verses ten to eleven, "He, Jesus, was in the world, and the world was made through him, 
yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. 在十节和十一节这么写道，他在世界，世界却，世界也是借着他造的，世界却不认识他。他来到自己的地方，自己的人倒不接待他。When Jesus came to the world, he created. The world did not recognize him. He came to his own people, and his own people would not accept him. Jesus came to his own world, but the world did not recognize him. He came to his own people, and his own people would not accept him. Some people thought that Jesus is a good teacher, teaching them to be good. Some people thought that Jesus is a good teacher, teaching them to be good. Some people thought that Jesus is a good teacher, teaching them to be good. Some people thought that Jesus is a good teacher, teaching them to be good. Some people thought that Jesus is a good teacher, teaching them to be good. Some people thought that Jesus In verse twelve, Apostle John says, "But, but, to all who did receive him, who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God." But in verse twelve, John says, "But, but, to all who did receive him, who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God." But in verse twelve, John says, Which means all who believe in Jesus by faith and follow Him, He gave them power to become children of God. That 就是说，凡来到耶稣面前凭信心相信他的，他就给他们权柄做神的儿女。There are three important truths about being children of God. 成为神的儿女有三个很重要的真理。The first. Is the children of God are born into the family? 第一就是神的儿儿女是在他的生他的生家庭里面成生生出的，生出生于神的家庭的。That means believers have a spiritual birth, and the spirit of God is with them. 所有的信徒都有这属灵的诞生，神的灵也在他们里面。The second truth is the children of God have the power of God to resist temptations. 神的儿女也有这个抵挡诱惑的这个能力。That means children of God can love and forgive one another. 神的儿女能够彼此相爱，彼此饶恕。Children of God can be patient with one another. 神的儿女能够彼此忍耐。Children of God can stop repaying evil for evil. And children of God can think of the interests of others and stop being selfish. 神的儿女也能够把他人的优需要成为优先，而不自私。And third and finally, children of God have eternal life. 最后就是神的儿女都有永生。This is the greatest good news. When we put our faith in Jesus, our temporal life, listen carefully, become eternal because God will be with us forever. When we believe in Jesus, our short-lived life becomes eternal because God is with us forever. That's what Jesus came to do on Christmas. 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 Christmas is here to change our life. 圣诞是要改变我们的生命。If we know that the baby in the manger is the God who created everything in the universe, do you think we will casually carry him in our arms? 如果我们知道这马槽里的婴孩就是那位创造世界万有的主，我们很会很随意、轻易的来。Uh, 抱抱他吗 ？I have carried my children a lot when they were a baby. 我的孩子在小的时候，我经常抱他们。But I will be very careful to carry the baby Jesus in my arm. 如果是要抱耶稣在我手里，我会非常的小心。I will prepare myself thoroughly. 我会很好的预备自己。Maybe I will wash myself clean, put on clean clothing, and carefully carry the baby. 我会把自己整理清洁。穿清洁的衣服，很小心的来抱这个孩子。If we know that the baby in the manger is the long-awaited king the prophets of the Old Testament talk about， 如果我们知道这马槽里的婴孩就是在很久以前这先知他们一直在
Would we not bring with us expensive gifts like gold, frankincense, and myrrh to worship him like the wise men did? So, dearly beloved brothers and sisters, friends and visitors, the baby Jesus in the manger is not an ordinary baby. He is the eternal king and ruler of the universe who came and make us his children so that we will love and worship him. That is the first purpose of Jesus coming to earth. The second purpose of the coming of Jesus is in verse 14 to 18. So it is to let us enjoy God's abundant grace forever. In verse 14, Apostle John says Jesus is full of grace and truth. It simply means that Jesus is full of love. Jesus did not come to judge us. He came to love and to save us. He is God's Christmas gift to all mankind. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 B says, the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus did not deserve to die, but he died for us unconditionally out of love. From this kind of love, Jesus showed us how loving is God the Father in heaven. So when we see, so when we see Jesus, we see God the Father. Jesus did not wait for us to be good, then he died for us. Jesus showed us his love so that we can love others. Jesus showed us his generosity so that we can be generous to others. When Apostle John says in verse 16, from his fullness, we have all received Grace upon grace. It means in Jesus, we will enjoy endless grace. In Jesus, we will enjoy grace forever. Life on earth is indeed very difficult. Sometimes very painful. Sometimes we feel that it is hopeless in this world. What we need is not a good teacher to teach us how to do good, but a savior to love us and save us forever. What we have in this world are temporal. Including the money in your pocket. Including even our own life. All are temporal. Only Jesus is forever. We need Jesus and we must not reject Jesus. I rejected Jesus before. 
Because I did not believe that Jesus can change my thinking and my living. When I was a young man, I thought Christianity is just another religion. Christmas is just another holiday. I thought Jesus is just a good man, not God. I never welcome Jesus into my heart because I prefer to live my life independent of God. But when I read the Bible, I come to understand that Christmas is about the Son of God become the Son of Man so that the sons of men like you and me might become Son of God. Christmas is an opportunity to step out of darkness and walk in the light of Jesus. And be the children of light and be the light of the world. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ, friends and visitors, Christmas is about God's giving His own life to His people. Christmas invites you to a new beginning. In a few more days, New Year 2022 will be here. It's a time for new beginnings. Some of us may be planning to exercise more and control the diet. Some Others of us are starting school or starting a new job or moving to a new place. Still others are beginning more difficult chapters in their life. For example, starting the new year as an unemployed person or as a person with a life-threatening illness. But none of us start this new year alone, not if we believe in Jesus Christ. Because he promises to be with us every day in the coming year. In this dark and sinful world, Jesus brings us light and life eternal. The Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 圣经这么写道, 因为神爱世人, so, so if you are not a Christian, will you open your hearts and let the light of Jesus to shine in your life and turn your fear into faith? Let him turn uncertainty to certainty. Turn your temporal life to eternal life. Will you repent of your sins, receive Jesus, and have a new beginning? If you are a believer, the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, to let your light shine before others, 
so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So if you are a Christian, I ask you to look back the day when the light of Jesus shine into your life and rescue you from the darkness of sin. How your life has changed for the better. How you have been worshipping him. How are you serving God in making disciples for Christ Jesus? How are you as a light of the world? Giving glory and praise of God our Heavenly Father. Do take stock of your life and make sure that the light of life, the light and life of Jesus continue to shine brighter in the year to come. Let us all stand and sing, sing the song. Amazing grace, my chains are gone.